So to summarize logging and recovery, we had a new component in the system, the recovery manager. It guarantees atomicity and durability, and it also supports rollback to guarantee consistency. It uses write ahead logging, WAL, to allow a steal no force policy in the buffer pool without satisfying, without sacrificing correctness. And remember that steal no force gave the buffer pool the most flexibility to decide when and what pages to replace. Um, and it allowed us to not have to write pages to the database before we return to commit to the user. We only had to write pages to the log. We have LSNs, log sequence numbers, at the heart of the ARIES logging protocol. They identify log records, they're linked into backwards chains per transaction via PREVLSN, and they're connected to the database via page LSNs. So this it, rich interconnection of um, log records, database pages, and log records with other log records is done via LSNs. And you can think of LSNs as the times, the timestamps of a database system. They are the sequential order of actions that happened in the database. The page LSN is the thing that connects the database page to the log record. It allows comparing database pages and log records in time. Checkpointing is done in a very clever way in Aries, where the only thing we actually write to the checkpoint records is the state of the main memory tables. Okay, the dirty page table and the transaction table. But the checkpoint is there and it allows us to limit the amount of the log we need to scan on recovery. We don't have to scan from the beginning of time. Recovery works in three phases. There's an analysis phase forward from the begin checkpoint record. There's a redo phase that's forward from the oldest rec LSN in the dirty page table after analysis. And there's an undo phase which goes backwards from the end of the log to the first LSN of the oldest transaction alive at the time of crash. Remember, when we're undoing transactions, we're still logging. We're logging compensation log records, CLRs, to the end of the log, even though we're undoing going backwards. And then finally, redo is going to repeat all of history, including the actions of aborted transactions, including CLRs. And this is going to simplify the logic, particularly for issues like crashes during recovery.